Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video, your go-to resource for acing the FE exam and advancing your engineering career. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of applying for your engineering training or EIT certification after you have passed the FE exam. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. Congratulations, you've aced your FE exam and you're ready to take the next step towards becoming a licensed professional engineer. Let's dive into how you can apply for your EIT or engineering training certificate. You don't automatically get your EIT certification after you pass the exam. Here's what you'll need to do. Number one, check the requirements for EIT certification in your state. Each state has its own requirements for EIT certification, so it's important for you to check with your state board of engineering to find out exactly what you need to do. In general, you will need to have a bachelor's degree in engineering from an accredited institution. You'll have to have passed the FE exam, of course, and possibly some engineering experience depending on the state. Number two, gather the required documentation. In addition to passing the FE exam, you will need to provide the state board with documentation of your education and experience. This may include transcripts from your university, letters of recommendation, and an engineering experience verification form. Number three, complete the application form. The state board will have an application form that you will need to complete. This form will ask you for personal information, education, experience, and other relevant information. Number four, pay the application fee. There is usually an application fee for EIT certification. The amount of the fee will vary from state to state. Number five, submit your application. Once you have completed the application form and paid the fee, you can submit your application to the state board. The state board will then review your application and approve or deny your request for EIT certification. If your application is approved, you'll receive an EIT certificate in the mail. And take good care of it and keep track because you'll need it when you apply for the PE exam. Now, here are some additional tips for applying for your EIT certification. Start the process early. It can take several weeks or even months for the state board to process your EIT application. Be sure to double check all of your paperwork. Make sure that your transcripts are accurate and that your experience verification form is complete if your state requires one. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your state board. They will be happy to help you with the application process. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for your EIT after passing the FE exam. Remember, this is an exciting milestone towards your engineering career, so stay positive and keep moving forward. And a lot of people don't submit for the EIT right after the exam, and it bogs them down. So do it right away. And by the way, if you're going to prep for the PE exam next, check out our Pass the PE Exam YouTube channel. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below, and I will read and respond to them in future videos. So if there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question that you want to answer, pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on pass the FE exam.